Hello, welcome to today's Market Snapshot video with myself, Jasper Lawler, the Senior Market Analyst here at LCG. It's, uh, it's budget day in the UK, and we've had another defeat for the government at the hands of the House of Lords on the Brexit bill. So naturally, we're going to be focusing on the, the British pound. Uh, the sterling has turned lower in the last few days, and there's a distinct downtrend in place on the, the daily chart, which we're going to look at in a second. Uh, but firstly, we just want to see whether this is really justifiable, whether it's sustainable, this drop in the pound. For, for the, uh, in terms of the budget, probably unless the government announced some really austere budget in which there's very little spending, um, then the, it's not really going to have a massive impact on the, the UK economy. And so we see the, the downside effect from the budget as being fairly limited. And in fact, if there's quite a rosy point of view put across about the UK economy from Philip Hammond, the, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, then maybe that will actually have a, a little bit of a lift to the pound. Um, the Lord's vote, um, while obviously it's, it's somewhat blocking the, the Brexit process at the moment, Still, we don't see it really affecting the, uh, the March, uh, March deadline for triggering Article 50. So while it does provide a bit of short-term uncertainty, there's still scope for um, the pound to eventually rebound. Nonetheless, we're going to have a look at the chart here and, and see how the trend is, is developing. So this is our daily chart for the British pound. So in terms of the, the sort of progress on things, at this point, at this point obviously, uh, sterling was looking pretty well bid, it was touching the top of the range. We were quite positive on, on sterling at this point, still remain so to some extent. Um, but obviously the, uh, the currency pushed into a range here, it was, it was, it was stabilising around the 50-day the moving average. It broke out to the top side, this looked promising, but then the first sign of concern was we got this decent breakout, but then the market rolled over and pretty much gave up all those daily gains the next day. That was an ominous sign drop back below the 21 day moving uh, the 20 day moving average and then continue to roll over and really this point in which this support was broken was when we started to accept that actually the the the, the market's looking pretty weak and it's continued to drop since then and from a shorter term perspective still while the trend is in a again a deep downtrend like this even as it approaches some potential support from the 76.4% fibonacci which is around 121.50 and the bottom of this range based on these bits of support after the flash crash um, in and around uh, 120.80. Those are potential support but still we're, we would, we're going with the, the trend and um, looking for opportunities to, um, to take the market lower. So we've seen this bounce and then these levels of support break, this one broke and really next time we're just looking for you know the, this little interim support in here has already broken. So the market's already aiming to turn lower and then we're testing these lows at the moment. So if we get a, a daily, um, you know, a short term close through this low, which looks like we could well get, then it looks like the market's angling to move lower. And obviously you, you, if you're selling towards the lows, um, then obviously the, the risk is that we get a snapback, um, but you are going with the momentum. So that's it for our market snapshot today. We were looking at the pound, specifically against the dollar, um, the cable rate, and really with the idea that there's a potential couple of reasons here through the budget and through the, the Brexit process for the pound to eventually rebound. We've outlined a couple of support areas, but for the time being, the trend is down, and for short-term trades, uh, the market's likely to, to keep heading lower. Uh, if, by the way, if you are enjoying these videos, please subscribe to LCG on the, uh, on the Facebook page and on YouTube.